see when you want the truth and when you want the facts you better watch no filter because i got your back ain't no ducking ain't no dodging ain't no scheming ain't no hiding because i got that work you want to get this work you want to get this work you about to get this work hi i am Hey everybody, Dr. Baker here. What I'm about to tell you is going to seem crazy to you. What I'm about to tell you seems crazy to me and I've been following this for the last six months and I've been diving into it and I've got multiple sources and I'm studying it, researching it like, like, first of all, a couple things we need to establish. If you think I'm a conspiracy theorist, that's okay with me. I don't care what you think about me because the decision that you make after you watch this video affects you and your family. It has nothing to do with me and my family. I make nothing off of you understanding what I'm about to share with you. Second of all, if you think I'm a conspiracy theorist, you would have thought I was a conspiracy theorist a year ago if I said, hey, there's going to be this amazing virus that comes out and shut down the whole world. Economy's going to crash. Everybody, by the way, everybody wore a mask and you think it's normal. You would have thought that I was batshit crazy. But guess what? It's happening. It's happening right now. You live in a movie. We are living in a movie. This, pl this plot is playing out as we speak. And I'd like to let you know a little bit about what's going on. I'm not going to spend forever on the details that led up to this, but I do need to give you a quick recap because you should share this with the people that are still kind of asleep at the wheel. No offense to your friends and family, but if they don't understand this, which I called some of my buddies that I thought were on board, they're like, what do you mean? I don't know what's going on. Here we go. You have to first be willing to get on board with me that there is a good and there is an evil. It's not a Democrat or Republican thing. There is a good and there is an evil. In the Bible, it's right there, it says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But yet I came that you may have life. Look, there's a difference. There is one or the other. Also, by the way, it says that the root of all evil is the love of money. Follow the money and see what happens, see where it goes. I can go into all kinds of reasons why there's an evil power at work right now and why there's people that do not want the best for you and your family. They instead want to pad their pockets, better their life, better their situation, and they don't care about you whatsoever. So, this is is called a one world government. This is called a one world takeover. This is called whatever you want to call it. I thought that was the most absolute crazy thing ever when I heard it back in March, but it's clearly playing out and you can look at all kinds of things. Now, here's what I'm going to do. If you haven't joined my email list yet, please do. I will put a link wherever you're watching. Uh, right now I'm live, I'm live on Facebook. I'll go back and put a link. If you see this on Instagram or whatever later, great. I'm going to send out an email, three or four emails with links that I have of the videos that I've been watching and they're from credible sources. I want you to do your own homework, do your own research, figure it out for yourself, not just listen to what I'm about to say, but you definitely owe it to yourself and your family to start looking into this. I'm going to give you surface level looking at it and you, it's your job to figure out the details. Here we go. This <clears throat> one world takeover thing has to get the United States out of the way. The United States is a freedom, it's a powerful country, and it is an obstacle to a one world government, one world takeover, and things like that. So you gotta get that out of the way. So when did that start? Getting rid of the United States started when they hired Barack Obama. If you're an Obama fan, it's okay, you didn't know. Listen, that guy was tearing apart the United States from the inside out, and basically putting pieces in place so that we could be taken over and whatever and making it so that other countries benefit more than us because ultimately we need to crumble. Hillary Clinton was supposed to take the reins and finish it off within her, her realm, right? Well, what happened was the National Security, Security Agency and the military went to Donald Trump and they said, hey, we need you to run for president. Newsflash, he didn't want to run for president. It's not like that was what he decided to do that day. They said, listen, we know you're a dick, you won't, you won't take any crap off anybody. We know you have your own money, you can't be bought out, and you're a businessman, so you can actually figure out how to run this thing a little bit better than it's been ran. Would you run for president, we got your back? He's like, yeah, sure. He gets into office, <clears throat> and he starts doing things which are better for America, right? Bringing companies back, and look, I could go on for days all the stuff that he's done that benefits Americans instead of other countries. No offense if you're watching from other countries, but your country should have your best interest, mine should have mine. So, everybody hates Donald Trump. Why? Because the media is owned by a small group of people, all of the media. 
So they want Donald Trump out. They have to get him out. And so in order to do that, they're going to train you, brainwash you every single day, all day, all the time, and tell you that Donald Trump is a horrible guy. He's bad, 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 bad. We've got to get rid of him. That's what's happened over the last four years. If you haven't seen it, I guess you haven't been watching. So then the election comes up, right? And they have to use coronavirus in order to instill enough fear that people will will be okay with just mailing in ballots because that really wasn't a big thing in the past. In the past, we did this little thing where we would show up and vote. Well, Donald Trump, whether you want to see it or not, want to believe it or not, the election was going one way and then with a bunch of mail-in ballots, it turned and went a different way. Now, please understand that there's a mailing system that was part of that called Dominion. Please understand that they have dead people voting. There's proof of that. So if you're not quite sure whether there's uh, some sort of agenda here, uh, why are dead people voting? Should be a good question. You should ask somebody. Anyway, he ends up losing the election, right? And so then he has to go through this process of doing it all by law, but the law won't listen. And, and there's judges that are not going to listen to this because, by the way, not all Republicans are good. Not all Democrats are bad. There's politicians that have been in this forever, and their paycheck depends on them following an agenda. And they're making a lot more money if the one world order thing takes over as opposed to Donald Trump being the boss and them working out their normal jobs. So there's judges that are corrupt and they're not going to listen to him and they're not going to take the case. They're not going to, you with me? So <clears throat> this has to play out in order for you to be able to see, dude, this is corrupt. This is crazy. Oh my God. That, what? That's legit. Right? So then January 6th comes and there is not Trump supporters that stormed the Capitol. By the way, it's not like you just get into the Capitol. Newsflash, the gate was open. People walked in. They didn't just surpass all the police and all the military. That was, yeah, right. So now what? Now, now Donald Trump is sitting there with the decision to make. And this is the part that you need to understand. And this is the part where, look, I don't care if you're a Trump hater or Trump lover, it doesn't matter. You need to make a decision of whether you will support the United States and the United States being the United States has always been with freedom and liberty for all, or you want the United States to crumble. You want China and whoever else to come in, take over, and you want to ultimately be at war with Chinese in your soil, which I'll talk about some other time, but that's happening right now. And you want to be part of a one world government, one world order that has one currency, one dominion, one powerful like boss. And you you go like this and they go like that. That's your choice. Choice is A, keep it the way it's always been. B, let it go to crap and give it up. And so your president, which by the way, he is your president right now. He's sitting there with a choice. And his choice is, see you later, America. I tried, but whatever. Or I'm going to stick it out and I'm going to make sure that I do everything that I can in order to keep America intact for the future, for your generation, for your kids. So stop looking at Donald Trump like an enemy. Stop just because you're a Democrat, just because you voted for Biden. Stop looking at that. I'm telling you right now that that doesn't matter anymore. So his choice is either leave or stay. And let me ask you this. Have you noticed that Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, um, every single social media platform is blocking Donald Trump from talking to the American people. He has nine days left. He came out and said, hey, you know what? I don't condone what happened at the Capitol and it's going to be a peaceful transfer of power. Why would you be so hell bent on getting that guy to leave nine days early? We're not talking about years. We're talking about nine days. Let him sit there for nine days. See you later. Joey's in. We're all good. We control the Senate. Congress and now the White House. Why you guys, the Democrats won. I'm never going to call them Democrats. The evil power won, but now they want to kick him out. Are, are you not asking yourself why? Why are they blocking him from talking to American people? And why are they so adamant about impeaching him? Let me tell you, because as long as he's in office, he is what is called the commander in and chief. That means that he has at his disposal, the power of the entire U.S. military. Now listen, I don't care if the country's split in half, half of people want to fight for Biden and whatever they stand for. Half of us are like, well, we want to keep our rights and our freedoms and keep America. Look, even if it, they can have 70% of the country, I'll take 30% plus the entire military. That feels like a win for me. So his choice is either stay in and remain the commander in chief and, and push this thing through and finish the agenda, finish what he was hired for, which is eliminating a ton of the corruption and horrible, horrible, evil people that work in government and the pedophiles around the country or step back 
And so I believe that he is choosing, and you may not know this yet, but I have gotten this from a couple different sources. He is choosing to stay, to fight for you and choosing. Now, what that means is that he had to sign what's called an insurrection act. The insurrection act gave, gives a president supreme power over the military and all police in the United States. So it says militia or armed forces. The president now has control over that. I know that a lot of you guys were going, oh, well, you know what? Donald Trump's a pro-vaxxer because he's doing this warp speed. I really truly believe that the reason why he had the military get the vaccine out to everybody was because he needed the military to be strategically placed throughout the country. And then when he decides that he has to because he did, couldn't win the election fairly, like what didn't work out, he has to continue to stay in the office and the media is going to tell you and everybody you know, by the way, please don't watch the media. They're just going to lie. They can change videos. They can change everything. They're going to tell you that he's a dictator and he's ruining the democracy and he needs to leave and all this kind of stuff. Well, guess what? At that point, the left and the right are going to do that. And when that happens, um, that's called riots that you've never seen. That's called war in the streets. That's called uh, somebody getting shot over a loaf of bread if it comes to that. And so I believe that the reason why he would need to have military throughout the United States is because the best way to stop some cheese dick operation like Antifa is some military trained people with legit weapons. Like, good luck Antifa. <laughs> I got 20 on the military guy. Throw it down. So that has to happen, and I do believe that that, that, was, that was signed. You won't find out about that in, in mainstream media either, either at all or until it's too late. So here's another thing that you should be asking yourself. What? That's weird. Why would Apple wipe Parler off of the App Store? If you don't know what Parler is yet, Parler is the conservative version, the non-censored version of Twitter. And so they wiped Parler off of the Apple Store, and you can't even download it. Then they went a step further. And I didn't know this, but Parler actually uses Amazon servers. So Amazon said, listen, you need to uh, pick up a censorship type of program like we're all doing, and you need to get on board with this one world order thing and censor all the people that are telling the truth so we can get this agenda done, or you are... So guess what? I just pulled up Parler, and I can't use it anymore. It's down. Because Amazon eliminated Parler because it was the only way for people to hear the truth. So... If you haven't downloaded it yet, there's a uh, messaging program called Signal. I would download Signal because that's that's a way to be able to communicate. Also, um, Parler will probably be back up, so I would get on Parler uh, if you can, but wait until they're back up and get on it. And then the other one is called Telegram. Telegram is a way to be able to post videos. You can follow, for example, me on Telegram, and I'll share everything I know. But there's a lot of other people that, I, look, I'm just hearing this from multiple sources, and I'm putting it together so it's easy to understand, and it's more fun to listen to than the guy that I watch. It's like, today in the news, it was very, like, boring. So, Telegram, uh, Signal, Parler, um, Gab. Gab is one that apparently is not on an app store or a play store or anything. So you can get Gab on your phone. But listen, here's another thing. If you have an Apple phone, Apple is talking about pushing updates that will keep you from hearing an emergency broadcast. So if you're the president, just hear me out. If you're the president of the United States, and this has never happened like this before. If you don't recognize that this is weird, then that's, that's a problem. Um, if you're the president of the United States, then you need to talk to the Americans. You need to be able to sit there and go, look, I'd like to explain why I have military roaming the streets, why I'm not leaving office. I need you to understand that this is for the greater good. And this is for me to help you as citizens, whether you like it or not, this is what you need me to do. And I'm only doing it for you because trust me, he's not doing it for himself. He needs to be able to say that to you somehow. And if he goes on the news, they'll change it. If he, he can't, can't go on social media, can't, can't, follow, can't do it on Twitter because they banned him. So he needs to do it through an emergency broadcast. I don't know when, I don't know exactly how, but I believe it's supposed to come through your cell phones. So if you have an Apple, you need to go in and turn off your automatic updates. If you have an Android, my phone, which is an Android, has not done any automatic updates since I've had it. And so I believe that it, it usually asks me for an update. I haven't done one since November. Just don't do any updates at this point. You don't need them. Look for an emergency broadcast. Be prepared. I don't know what that is, and please understand, I'm not here to scare you, but I'm on my way to fill up some propane tanks. I, I have measures in place with my wife's car, and I were both full of gas. We have gas cans. We have food. We have different things. 
I'm not going to sit there and give you my 